Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Two of the world's four biggest commercial aircraft manufacturers, Embraer of Brazil and Boeing of the US, have signed a memorandum of understanding to set up a joint sustainable aviation biofuels research center. Crema Media's senior deputy editor, Keith Campbell, tells us more. Hi, Keith. Why have Embraer and Boeing signed this MOU? Well, the, the whole issue of biofuels uh, for aviation is driven by two things. Uh, one is to reduce carbon emissions. B uh, biofuels produce l fewer carbon dioxide emissions in particular. Uh, and the other thing is cost. Uh, the price of aviation fuel has risen significantly over the past couple of decades and is one of the most powerful factors in uh, the cost base of the aviation industry. And if cheaper fuels can be uh, developed and delivered, it will be a great benefit to the aviation sector worldwide. Uh, these two companies uh, are getting together. Uh, firstly, uh, em Embraer is a Brazilian company. Of course, Brazil is a world leader in the use of biofuels. It is the biggest biofuel user in the world. Uh, they make use of uh, biofuels developed from sugarcane, what they call bioethanol. Uh, this is the most efficient biofuel uh, source and most efficient biofuel technology currently available. The, uh, the ethanol from sugarcane contains more energy than from uh, ethanol from alternative sources and is cheaper and easier to produce. And the Brazilians have also been using it uh, in aviation already in a niche area. Embraer has a subsidiary company called Neva, which produces crop dust to aeroplanes, you know, that spray um, uh, pesticides over uh, fields of crops. Um, and some parts of the world are actually used to uh, spray seeds over fields as part of the uh, planting process. And for some years now, they have been producing a version of the crop duster plane, which is called the Ipanema, and not named after the beach, by the way, named after a faham, believe it or not. And this version uses only biofuel. So it became the first aircraft in the world certified to operate solely on biofuel. And the advantage for Brazilian farmers is that lots of Brazilian farmers, they can grow their own fuel. They grow sugarcane, they cut the sugarcane, they can produce biofuel using simple uh, refining technology on the farm. So they grow the own, their own fuel for the aircraft. So you can imagine the savings they get out of it. So it's proven quite popular in the Brazilian agricultural sector. Now, this, however, is something more ambitious. This is looking at biofuels for jet aircraft. And is there such a cooperative program in South Africa? Actually, yes, there is. Uh, Boeing is, uh, has developed cooperative programs with companies in a number of countries around the world. And one of them is South Africa. They signed a memorandum of understanding with South African Airways uh, in October last year. Uh, looking at the development of, of what they call a sustainable biofuel supply chain uh, in Africa over the coming years. Um, the uh, difference, of course, with Brazil is they're linking up with a company, Embraer, that makes aeroplanes. Uh, by the way, from Embraer's perspective, uh, Boeing is, of course, one of the biggest uh, aerospace companies in the world, one of the three biggest aerospace companies in the world. Uh, Embraer may be uh, one of the four biggest manufacturers of commercial aircraft. You know, the, the others are, apart from Do Boeing, are Airbus and Bombardier of Canada. But there's a huge difference in size between Boeing and Airbus on the one side and Bombardier and Embraer on the other. So Embraer gets the benefit of support from a uh, major uh, as I say, one of the biggest aerospace groups in the world, and a company with which they've been developing cooperation in other areas of the aviation industry as well. And do you have any idea as to when 
aviation biofuel will be commercialized? That I can give no answer to. Uh, biofuels have until now suffered uh, a problem in that uh, they uh, result in shorter range. They're not as energy intense as conventional uh, aviation fuel. And when it comes to jet aircraft, all the biofuel tests to date in all countries have involved mixing biofuel with conventional fuel. Um, for example, and this is only one example, there have been a whole string of, of such tests. Uh, during the Rio Plus uh, 20 uh, United Nations Conference, Conference on Sustainable Development, an Embraer E195 jet airliner, 120 seat jet airliner, was flown uh, with a mixture of 50% uh, bioethanol produced in Brazil and 50% conventional jet fuel. That plane belonged to a Brazilian carrier called Azul, which means blue. Uh, so there's a lot of research work being done uh, on virtually every continent now. But when it becomes truly commercially viable, uh, that that is not yet clear. Thanks, Keith. That is the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.